Cowboy Gunshot. Let's rock. A little more ramble. Standing in lines beside the show tonight And there's a light on Heavy glow By the way I tried to say I'd be there Waiting for Danny's a girl singing songs to me Beneath the marquee Of a load Look at that girl, such a little DJ Ow. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking fall down. Alexa! Off, oh, shut the fuck up. Hey, my dreamers, I missed you. So we're doing round two. Come on down. You're the next, next contestant on the XRP price is fucking right. So we gotta get above 80 cents. And we need to hold you above 40 on Bitcoin. But you know, you know it's fucked up. We get we're doing a gunshot. I got through a lot of information. I've been writing it down. It's not scripted though. Don't. It's not. If you saw this, you know. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Make no mistake. This is the light versus the dark. Ooh, ha ha ha. Getting ripped, motherfucker. But this is why I say this. Because we are the light. We are. We belong. We belong. Because <laughs> we're not here for the fucking dark. We hate the dark. But, as Brad Garlinghouse would say, we're invested in the man. And the man is the fucking dark. The banks. And the bank. Here's, here's a question. Who wins at the end of the day? The people or the money. You know, you can call them the fucking Illuminati. You can call them the deep state. You can call them whoever you want. But who wins? I would argue this last election, we know the answer. The fucking night. The fucking money wins, right? So, the banks. So, I believe this is a fight between the banks and the SEC. And, and the SEC is no friend of mine. Okay? And I'll tell you, fuck you too, Elon Musk. You're no friend of fucking the Cowboys. Because you lied to me, you committed security fraud, and I lost money because of you with your four fucking 20 shit. You know? Fuck you. But I am, I, I ordered two Cybertrucks. Because he's got a beautiful mind. You know? So, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is a beautiful thing. The banks, we're not invested in the banks. They're invested in us because we were here first. We were holding XRP before all that. So they needed us. So I feel a little better. But at the end of the day, we are invested in the fucking night. Make no mistake. And if, if you tell yourself you're not, you're, you're lying to yourself. Because the whole fucking financial system is not getting flipped upside down. And I'm quoting Darren Moore here being replaced and yes swift will probably exist but they're going to work with xrp and ripple or should i say ripple to be politically correct so this is a gunshot i'm just going to throw some random shit out there i, I wrote down life versus dark the fight of the sec and bitcoin because we have gary ginsler ginsler who was a goldman sachs guy we have fucking jay clayton goldman sachs guy we have What's that other ass? Hinman. Um, I, I don't... I think he's connected, but he's not. You couldn't say a Goldman Sachs guy. But all of these motherfuckers, well... Gary Ginsler is connected to Goldman. And who else is connected to Goldman? 
Warren fucking Buffett. Okay, let's get into him in a minute. This is the XRP Cowboy. Hi, this is Billy. The Cowboy will lie to you. Billy will always tell you the fucking truth. And I'm going to tell you right now, Billy agrees with Warren Buffett. When the Cowboy starts talking, well, he's not going to want to be involved. But he does agree because he's the one that told the Cowboy what the fu- what He told the Cowboy what's going on. So you got, you know, and nothing happens without Goldman. If you listen to the digital asset investor, you know, whatever, he would he would agree with me. Um, remember the housing crash? Goldman Sachs was bailed out. The U.S. United States. What's happening? United States, that was cool. United States of America went to Warren Buffett and said, bail out Goldman Sachs and we'll guarantee your money and pay you a premium on it. That's not insider trading. That is something significantly fucking worse. Yeah, it, it's, it's, I don't even know. It's not, it's, it's more than fraud. But he did. And this is a guy who said, I never invested in Bill Gates, Microsoft, because we were friends and people would look at me in a, a bad light. I'm a little old man that's cute. But you know what they say about these little old men that make their wealth after 40 or 20 or whatever, like 40 when he did? Behind every great wealth is a great fucking crime. So don't act fucking innocent and pretty. And don't say Bitcoin is rat poison or whatever, Times Square. When you own Bank of America, motherfucker, you're fucking lying to the people, bitch. So anyways, um, you got Gary Gensler, um, well, whatever. Jay Klain that works for an Ethereum Bitcoin company. He's doing an e- trying to do an ETF that'll probably get passed. We all know this. It's not new information. We've been, you know... I mentioned it on a couple channels before that he's uh, he works for a Bitcoin Ethereum company. Ethereum will be, ne- will be next, watch. And it's carbon neutral. Who's he in bed with? Once again, back to the dark fucking night, Elon Musk. I'm not going to do this until it's carbon neutral, right? 50%. And it'll probably get past this ETF. Amazing. A miracle. So fucking manipulated. Everything of value is manipulated, including your kid's little scooter that they want or their Caillou fucking doll that I had to pay $88 for when it was selling for 20 They don't want us to fucking swim. But if you listen to me, you're going to be buying when you your heart's telling you to fucking... When you're... Your gut is telling you to sell. Your heart's telling you to buy, but your gut's telling you to sell. Don't stop buying, motherfuckers. And I say that with love. It's like my loves. Don't stop buying, my loves. I'm sorry. Billy's having anxiety right now. He doesn't understand who this monster is. But he likes listening to him. And then you have... Fucking Hinman, who's been getting paid by a Bitcoin fucking Ethereum company every year. And then you have Ginsler, who was a Goldman Sachs. They're all in bed together. And I think Ginsler is pure. Gary is a good guy. He wants what's right and it's going to happen. But they're battling the banks right now, which is fucking crazy. That's what's happening. They're not fighting Ripple. They're fighting the banks. They have over 20 central bank partnerships. And at the end of the day, it's a losing fight. And that's that's the end, end game. So let's get past that. This is a gunshot. David Schwartz is Satoshi. The first address for Bitcoin was at the SEC, the NSA. David Schwartz worked at the NSA. David Schwartz in tweets implied... He's an intelligent guy who would never come out and say it, but he said something along the lines of, I was too smart to create something along the lines of Bitcoin 
any implied he wish he would have because I saw all the things that were wrong with it. No, David, what you meant to say was you were fucking smart. You created that, and then you knew the problems, so you fixed them, and you fucking went on. And I know people will argue that, but it's no coincidence that the creators of XRP were fucking all working on Bitcoin, David Schwartz being one of them. We should call him Kaiser. David Schwartz is Kaiser Solze. If you didn't, haven't watched The Usual Suspects, watch it, and you'll see what I mean. There is nobody anonymous. If there was an anonymous person, we would know who he is. And, you know, unless the government's fucking protecting him. The problem isn't the one. It's the fighting the others who didn't know who the one was and, and got, they put tons of fucking money into this for years, for years. So there you go. Let me scratch, scratch David and, the, and, and Gary Gensloff and Jay fucking Clownton. It's funny how Jay Clayton seemed to be like awesome for a long time, like he was pushing, or it's going to go around us. Yeah, fuck you, Jay. Um, ooh, Golden Spiral. I, that was supposed to be my next video. We're going to make that next. This is how I invest, how I make the fucking money. Um, we, Elon Musk. You know, why do we keep working so hard for Bitcoin, something that's broken and failed, when we have something that's significantly better? Even the, the um, if we could fix the energy crisis with Bitcoin, it still wouldn't measure up to, to XRP. So why are we doing that, Elon? Why does that matter? Non-disclosures, when you own pay, PayPal, your partner invested heavily in Ripple, and you're saying you don't know anything about XRP, it, you know, it may have been, you know, maybe you were fucking, no, you knew, motherfucker, okay? You didn't know what your partner was doing? Give me a break. So he knows. It's a non-disclosure. He's probably invested too. Isn't it interesting? This is a gunshot. I'm going to do that. I got to do the stable coin next. So just so you know, XRP is a stable coin. When you hear about that, Brad Garlinghouse said it was a stable coin. He said it's more stable than the U.S. dollar. When you move money with the dollar, it could take three to five days to settle. XRP settles in three seconds. The, the currency exchange and all that stuff. So ultimately, at the end of the day, the flux in price is less with XRP because of its speed and efficiency. And it's um, it's never lost a payment. U.S. dollar, cross-border payments, they lose millions and millions of dollars a year. And its volatility, fluctuation of price, is not stable. XRP is more stable than the U.S. dollar. And Brad Garlinghouse said it is a stable coin. So it's a stable coin. The light above your face, it's incredible. How are your kids doing? You excited about where their lives are going to be? They're going to be better than ours. If you don't have kids, that's okay. Because if you do, or if you don't, maybe your brother or your mother, their lives are going to be better. Let's get rid of that. This is a gunshot. Goes out, gunshots range out like a bell. I grabbed my line, all I heard was falling from the concrete real fast. Jumped in the car, slammed on the gas. So, don't you think it's funny that I've been saying this for a while that flare, spark wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't get our funds and it wouldn't go mainstream until, you know, XRP had clarity and then it got pushed back two months to October really October maybe September and they said all this stuff they gave some tokens that's great I like that they're probably good but and then Jeb McCaleb's gonna run out of tokens at the same time 
and the lawsuit is probably going to have a summary judgment at the same time. Is it how many coincidences before it's all mathematically impossible? And the funny fucking thing is I've been saying this for months now, since before that was before they pushed it back the first time. You know, so let's cross that off the list. I already said Elon Musk, central banks. I already said that. Here's another thing. Jeb McCaleb, I've always said, I don't know if he's selling because he wants to. I think it might be some kind of a legal agreement. And yeah, he probably did fucking, he, he probably was the fucking rat in this lawsuit. That's why he's not getting fucking pulled into court, but... We don't, fuck you, hey Jeff, fuck you. I do own Stellar, but I don't own you, motherfucker. But I will, bitch. Um, love. But the white paper, if you look at the Stellar white paper, they it states on it that they're going to give the shareholders of Stellar XRP, which makes me think it, they're all fucking in bed together, right? We've often said they're brother and sister, but then we've seen... Things that make us think maybe they're not. But why would the white paper say when they, it was pretty much like when they accomplish what they want to, they're going to give their shareholders XRP. Isn't that fucked up? No one ever talks about that, but that was in the original white paper. Things that make you say, hmm. So is Jeb a friend? I don't know. But I know this. Next video will be how I trade. And I don't trade XRP. I accumulate. I do trade XLM though, so fuck you, Jeb. I guess another original. <clears throat> Too much to drink. I shouldn't be driving. My lungs hurt. I've smoked a lot Too many things I shouldn't be thinking of What I become And what you're not I think of the way She wants to play Late at night And all through the day Think of the way She wants to play I'm so glad you didn't say sorry for what I did. I know I hurt you with the things I said. I'm so glad you called me when I wasn't home. I might have picked up cause I felt alone. Yeah. 